Hi children, one of the important organ for the circulation that is heart. Today we are going to learn about heart. Let us see that. So, the introduction part here that is nothing but about uh, the circulatory system that is cardiovascular system is very important to pump that all the nutrients. So, this will be includes that here it comprises that blood and heart and blood vessels and the system which supplies the nutrients and removes the waste products from the various tissues of the body. The conveying media is liquid in the form of the blood which flows in the closed tubular system that is nothing but here it is in the human beings the circulation it is closed system closed transport system it is not open transport system open circulatory system like just like as a arthropods. So, it is a closed uh, transport system why we are calling it as because the blood which is carries that all the nutrients in the blood vessels. So, as we can uh, it we can say that here it is a closed circulatory system and here all the transport system which is uh, it is not directly sending to the top tissues. So, it is uh, a medium is required uh, which is nothing but here blood. So, let us go for the tofer. The important uh, cardiovascular system it is the functions of the circulatory system. The human circulatory system which is uh, or as cardiovascular system has a great job of that transporting the oxygen and the nutrients to the organs and tissues of the body and carry away waste products. It regulates the body temperature and increases the blood flow to meet the demands of that is during exercises. This system is also sends the part of that immune system white blood cells and the antibodies to fight against that is foreign, subst foreign substances or we can say that the foreign particles and harmful microorganisms pathogens. So, this is very important that to transport all the nutrients along with that of oxygen and fight against that of foreign particles also. So, let us see that how it will be transports that are nutrients. This is what the structure of the heart in the human beings. So, usually as it consisting of that two chambers, upper chambers and the two lower chambers and which is this heart is located in the thoracic cavity, chest cavity whereas this between the two lungs and it is protected that by the rib cage and it is also protected by the, the membranes which are surrounds the day, heart which is also known as pericardial membranes and it is filled with the top pericardial fluid where it just protects that a heart and these two chambers are called as lower chambers are called as ventricles whereas that upper chambers are called as auricles and all it is connected with the top blood vessels arteries and the veins and blood capillaries also. So, arteries which carries that oxygenated blood Whereas that veins which carries the deoxygenated blood arteries except that the pulmonary artery which is located and it is arises from that of right ventricle and this pulmonary artery which carries that deoxygenated blood. Whereas that here also where it just collects that pulmonary veins after the purification of that from the lungs the pulmonary veins which are entering to the top of left auricle and left ventricle to the top of iota which carries that oxygenated blood. These are the two exceptional cases we have already discussed in the previous session. So, what is this artery which is arising from the right ventricle is pulmonary artery which is connected to the top of lungs where the after the purification then it just the purified blood enters into the top pulmonary veins through the top of pulmonary veins enters into the left auricle. So, wherever it is a right side it just said to be that it is a right auricle right ventricle where it just said to be that left side left auricle and left ventricle and these two chambers are separated by the top articles and auricles and ventricles 
are separated by that of auricular ventricular septum whereas that intra auricular ventricular septum as between these auric auricle and the ventricle whereas that auricular septum which is also separates that are two auricles and it is just like as a, a wall like then this deoxygenated blood after the collecting from the veins this is what the superior vena cava which collects that a blood from the upper parts of the body upper parts of the body that means neck and the head whereas that after the collecting enters into the right auricle when this is inferior vena cava which is uh, located backside onwards as it just enters into the top right atrium it carries that deoxygenated blood from the lower parts of the body that means it collects that deoxygenated blood from the lower parts of the body so here itself all the deoxygenated blood enters into right auricle right auricle to right ventricle right ventricle to here itself it just goes to the top pulmonary artery so pulmonary artery after where it just went to the top it just goes to the top the lungs for the purification and enters into the top right sorry left auricle through the pulmonary veins and enters into left ventricle where it just enters into the largest iota systematic iota systemic iota where it just supplies to the all the body parts that is oxygenated blood this is what the short pathway of the blood let's see that the structure how it is so this is what the structure where <coughs> Roughly the shape of the heart it is a triangle shape and it is made up of that in muscles called as cardiac muscles. The heart has four compartments and chambers inside it. The upper two chambers are known as auricles whereas that lower two chambers are called as ventricles. Just now as we have discussed about this the upper chambers we can call it as auricles whereas that lower chambers we can call it as ventricles. If it is right side, it is a right auricle and right ventricle. If it is a left side, left auricle and left ventricle. So this is what that is covered with the top for layers, cardial layers. That is pericardium, and it is filled with the top for pericardial fluid, which protects the shocks from the shocks itself. Then. A sheath of the tissue which is called as pericardium protects the muscular heart and the chambers of the heart which is separated by the upper portion which is called as here septum. So let us see here in the diagram of that pericardial layers. So parietal pericardium, visceral pericardium, whereas parietal ca pericardial cavity, endocardium, myocardium. Usually these are all the inner layers of that then it just covering layers between that two layers we can say that pericardial layers so that as a, the pericardial fluid will be present inside of this between these two layers. Consider that of here you can observe that how the blood will be supplies to the from one chamber to the other chamber. So who will stop states when it just go for the top for backward direction. So, it may chances to go inside of that uh, the other chamber. So, who will stop here that is nothing but a flip like structure which is very important uh, to prevent that backward direction is called as here valve. So, let us see that the valves and all from the two main veins these two atria receives the blood and the two ventricles that transports the blood to the entire body to the lungs so from the two veins as they are saying that is nothing but superior vena cava and inferior vena cava where you can see here this is what the inferior vena cava and the superior vena cava so it collects from the head part and the neck part whereas it collects that lower parts of the body so all the deoxygenated blood enters into the top one of the chamber that is the first chamber of the heart is called as right atrium so let us go for that of the next point what is there here. The left atrium is connected to the top left ventricle through a valve V1. 
So, left auricle which is connected to the top of a left ventricle which is by the valve like structure that is flip like structure we can call it as here that is here valve 1 here whereas that tricuspid valve as we can say it here the bicuspid valve we can see here the next one here itself <coughs> The tricuspid valve and the bicuspid valve where aortic valve or else mitral valve we can say that here uh, right atrium you can see here right atrium and right ventricle left atrium and left ventricle. So where does right atrium right auricle to right ventricle the blood will be enters into the top uh, from the right auricle to right ventricle with that of valve of here tricuspid valve whereas left auricle and the left ventricle which is consisting of that a mitral valve otherwise we can call it as uh, bicuspid valve. So, let us see that similarly the right atrium is connected to the top of a right ventricle through the another valve this is what the tricuspid valve valve number 2 these valves uh, prevents the backflow of the direction blood which is into the atria and the ventricles and contract to pump the blood out of the heart to the rest of the body. So, these valves are very important for the preventing that a backward direction of the blood from the one chamber to that of other chamber. So, what happens if it is enters into that of other chamber? It is mixed with that of oxygenated blood and the deoxygenated blood and clumps will form. The flow of the blood will be disturbed here. Finally, the person will be faces that problem of the death. The next one is here. You can see this is because of when the ventricles contract, the valves V1 and V2 closes automatically that blood may not go back to the atria. So, the heart pumps uh, blood around the body. So, whenever it is uh, when the two ventricles are closes itself, it just opens to that uh, the valves which are present in the, the pulmonary valve whereas that we can say that aortic valve also which will be opens and enters for the in these two blood vessels and for the purification it just sends. So, from the right auricle to right ventricle, right ventricle to pulmonary artery, pulmonary artery to lungs where from the lungs pulmonary veins through this pulmonary veins enters into the top of left auricle, left auricle to left ventricle and the systemic iota. So, when the two ventricles will be contract the blood will be pushes into these two arteries. So, for the purification itself, when the auricles contracting itself, the blood will be enters into these two chambers that is nothing but here contraction and relaxation which just gives that the sound of heart that is lubbed up. So, valve 1 and valve 2 which creates that a contraction and immediately just pushes that a blood into the top the blood vessels of uh, systemic iota and the this uh, uh, the pulmonary artery. The valves will be open itself and then it just enters into the door for blood into that blood vessels. So, the contraction of uh, valve 1 and valve 2 which creates that a uh, first sound of lab whereas that enters into the door for uh, into the two chambers of this ventricles and the ventricles from the ventricles it just enters into the door for uh, arteries that is pulmonary artery and systemic iota, iota which creates that there is a dub sound too. So, this is what uh, like this way it just for passes just like as a circulation so that the blood can be passes throughout the all over the body. This is what about the heart as we can see the how it just opening that uh, valves. So, when it is contracting itself auricles it enters into the top ventricles. When ventricles are contracting it enters into the top blood vessels. So, hope you understand that a structure of heart and how the blood moves inside of this. Thank you.